Illinois' highest court heard arguments today on a controversial state law. On one side, you have the Illinois Attorney General defending why the Safety Act should be able to eliminate cash bail. And on the other, a group of state's attorneys who say it's unconstitutional. Glenn Marshall breaks down the day. Good morning, all. Mr. Marshall, the Supreme Court is convened. Governor Pritzker and Attorney General Kwame Raoul are urging a court to reject constitutional theories from prosecutors challenging this measure. Those against it believe eliminating cash bail puts dangerous criminals back on the street. They also say the Safety Act is using a specific part of the Illinois Constitution that guarantees people bail by sufficient sureties. The issue is whether sureties automatically means money. We want to join in the, in the fight towards reforming bail. Uh, we realize that that's an absolute requirement, but uh, there are also situations where uh, the, the courts have to have the ability to control uh, in cases of violence. The Attorney General's office argues lawmakers have the right to reform pretrial court procedures, even though the opposing side claims voters should decide on any constitutional amendments. Here's what Attorney General Kwame Rowe had to say after the hearing. I think the most compelling argument is that there's no language in the Constitution that says um, you have to have monetary bail. There's no language. And, and, you know, that is something that any layperson can sit and read the Constitution and, and know that sufficient sureties can re refer to a wide range of, of, of things. That was Glenn Marshall reporting. A decision is not expected for several weeks.